Scientist and virologist Professor Tulio de Oliveira has been bestowed with the Portugal Order of Merit for his contribution to science and research. He is director at the Center for Epidemic Response and Innovation at Stellenbosch University. In fact, he's also the head of the KZN Research Innovation and Sequencing Platform. Portuguese President Marcelo Rebelo de Sousa presented Oliveira with the medal when he visited South Africa. It's one of Portugal's highest honors given to individuals who have demonstrated outstanding achievements. In fact, Professor Tulio de Oliveira joins me now virtually from Stellenbosch. A very good morning, Professor. Firstly, a huge congratulations on the Order of Merit. How are you feeling? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you and, and good morning to all your viewers. Of course, it's a very proud moment. Yeah, the, the, the Order of Merit is a special medal given by Portugal, by the Portuguese uh, president. Yeah to really for individuals that have achieved what they say like yeah a high honor in within the the portuguese system eh? and what was very exciting is it was the first time in 30 years that the president of portugal come visit south africa and they decided at that moment to to give me the this special medal yeah and that's also quite important because uh, many of view, viewers may not know but South Africa has one of the biggest colonies of Portuguese in the world there. Eh? And I think that not only me, but a lot of the, the Portuguese people in South Africa were very excited about that honor. Professor, I can only imagine how huge an honor it is to have that happen. And it's happening in your timeline, as it were. Let's talk about the research that you conduct at, uh, at the KZN, uh, uh, you know, in the university in KZN. I mean, how involved are you really? Okay, so 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 at the moment I direct two different institutes in South Africa. One is in Durban at the Nelson Mandela School of Medicine. That's that that's crisp. And another one it's here in Stellenbosch, yeah, in which which you may remember that we recently opened this massive investment, 1.2 billion rand, on a new facility in South Africa to help not only south africa but to help the whole continent to quickly identify and characterize epidemics uh, our discovery of the beta and omicron variant was crucial to really uh, respond in south africa but what many people do not know is that we have been working with epidemics and pandemics for the past 20 years both with hiv tuberculosis but we are also an international point of contact that people ask us when a new outbreak happen in the country to respond so at the moment we have teams going around the world dealing with cholera with dengue with chikungunya with rift valley fever so that's some of the pathogens that's less unknown to people but that can potentially fuel large epidemics and potential pandemic uh, Professor, let's talk a bit more about your work. I mean, are you able to forecast through your research uh, what we are likely to face in as far as uh, uh, an epidemic is concerned, uh, both as a country but as a continent as well? Okay, thank you. That's, that, that's an important question. Yeah. So this year, we, we are very worried, not about the COVID anymore. Just let's make clear, at least in South Africa, we seem to be clear of that awful uh, pandemic. We are very worried about influenza as a new pathogenic strain was circulating uh, in wild birds. Uh, fortunately, that haven't few uh, a big epidemic, but that's something that our group and a network around the country that I coordinate the network for genomic surveillance, we keep uh, respond to that. The other pathogens that we are really worried, it is pathogens that are amplified by climate change. So for example, many of your viewers may, may, may remember the awful cholera uh, epidemic that, that happened, especially in, in, in Southern and East Africa. So, and where that come from? In that case, that epidemic or the cholera strain that is circulating in Southern Africa is associated with the floods, floods that are happening last year in Pakistan. Yeah, very big flooding, a massive outbreak happened in South Asia. Was 
was introduced in Africa, especially Malawi and Mozambique. When the flood season came, it caused the worst uh, epidemic of the history of Southern Africa. And that kept being introduced in South Africa. So I think that we remember uh, around Pretoria or this awful number of people dying of cholera. And that's the kind of thing that our group, our teams, both at CRISP, at UKZN, and Sarah at Stellenbosch is really focused on. Not only a forecast, but be prepared to be on the ground to characterize these epidemics in real time. Because if you can characterize that in real time, you can have accurate diagnostics and therapeutics and vaccines. And of course, that would re uh, improve the response time um, in as far as the proactivity is concerned uh, for the country's uh, various departments in dealing with an epidemic. Uh, Professor, before I let you go, let's talk about what this award means for the institutions where you are currently um, engaged with. Okay, so 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 first that that's one of many awards. Yeah, last last um, two weeks ago we also got uh, the Discovery Health yeah, Lifetime Award. We have received also award from Olaf Scholz, the Chancellor of Germany. Yeah, so what it means for the organization is not about only recognition, but that allow us to raise the profile of South African uh, science and bring more funding to the countries yeah so as i'm speaking to you we are just preparing to to host in stellenbosch 200 of the top uh, scientists on epidemic response yeah in a very large workshop is the biggest one in the world that happened and they will come from 60 countries together with the world health organization and the africa cdc to really start bringing all that knowledge back to South Africa and Africa, yeah, to quickly respond for epidemics. So it's more is not only recognition, it's about access to talent, is access to experts, yeah, and access for funding for South Africa to respond and to prepare for the next epidemics and pandemics. Professor, congratulations once more and thank you so much for your time this morning. All the best to you and your teams. Uh, that was scientist and virologist Professor Tulio de Oliveira.